When I was young, I had some chickens, uh, and uh, when I when I moved into my house about 15 years ago, I thought it'd be kind of fun to set up a chicken coop and and raise some chickens. So I've been doing that ever since uh, ever since then. I don't have very many, but enough to provide a few eggs here and there. I like to think of myself as a farmer, but I'm really not. My name is Froney Crawford. I'm an associate professor of astronomy at FNM. My wife Jill and I have been married for 18 years. We have two children. I didn't really have any uh, visions of being a scientist. And when I went off to college, uh, I, th I thought I wanted to do psychology and maybe philosophy as well. And I happened to take an astronomy course as a distribution requirement. And I found that it resonated with me and I did well in that class, so I eventually sort of moved more and more into science. My research is in the field of astronomy. In particular, I study radio pulsars, which are spinning compact objects. Pulsar is only about 10 kilometers in, in radius, so it's about the size of a small city. But it weighs almost as much as our own sun. So if you compute how dense the material has to be, a sugar cube worth of neutron star matter, it weighs as much as a fleet of battleships. Almost all of the pulsars that we know about are located in our own Milky Way. Some pulsars are located in some satellite galaxies to the Milky Way, but beyond that, no one has ever detected or studied radio pulsars. One goal I have is to try to find and study the population of extragalactic pulsars. One of the things I really like about astronomy is it addresses some big questions about the universe and about uh, how the universe operates on large scales. So I tend to think of it as physics as applied to the larger universe. The measure of the dispersion gives you a handle on how far away the pulsar is, because the farther the pulsar is, the more plasma will pass through. What I try to bring to the table as a professor is, it, is an authentic connection with my students. That's one of the th reasons why I got into teaching, was for that kind of um, connection that, that a place like FNM affords. That's probably the most rewarding and valuable thing about teaching for me. To get to know these students and learn about them and see where they're going and what they want to do. And uh, hopefully I can help them along the way in their path, in their, in their journey. And uh, it's just satisfying to, to sort of feel like you've made a difference in people's lives like that.